In this video, we will look at the article I Stand With You Against the Disorder by Janet Armstrong. Armstrong begins this article with a geographical description of the Okanagan Valley. It is a part of the British Columbia which is very dry and hot and lies between two rocky mountain ranges that is the Cascades and the Silkates. And the main river that flows through this land is the Columbia River. This suggests that there is a close connection between nature and its people. They are very much connected with these two mountains as well as the river Columbia River. And then she describes her own identity or she is trying to tell who she is. Armstrong's mother is a river Indian and they are believed to be the Kettle River people who are in charge of the fisheries in the northern parts of the Columbia, that is the Columbia River system. And her father belongs to mountain people and they are hunters in the Okanagan Valley. And her name, that is Armstrong's name, is passed on from her father's side of the family and it is the name of her great grandmother. And she is trying to talk about the identity that she has as part of the Okanagan community. When she talks about her community, she admits that it is difficult to describe them in a different language that is English. Because when they say the word Okanagan, they in fact means the ones who are dream and land together. That is the original identity of an Okanagan. And she says that they are the living dreaming earth pieces. Oh, this term dreaming earth pieces connects them to the entire geographical as well as the physical space in which they live. And then she continues, we are mind as well as matter, we are dream, memory and imagination. So this actually suggests or oh, it means that it is the unseen part of their existence as human beings which they mean by the term dream. Another meaning that she gives to the term is about being tied into and being part of everything else. And she says that it refers to the dream parts of ourselves forming our community. So it means that it is being symbolically used. So she says that if you take few a few number of hairs in your hand and you twine them or place them together and rub your hands and bind them together they become one strand like these strands of hair which is bound together the people are very close and this suggests a kind of close understanding of not only the people but also of the of the environment and she says that when there is a kind of uh, lack of unity in this kind of an understanding that is with the earth as well as with the people around then there it brings in confusion as well as chaos being an okanagan every individual has the capacity to bond with everything that they encounters or with or with every person that they encounter and so she says that she cannot stand silently but she stand with the people of her community against the disorder and this disorder is a confusion as well as the chaos created by the kind of lack of communication between people it can be about the ways in which the cultural imperialism is uh, trying to take over all the indigenous kinds of or all the indigenous ways of living through this she is also trying to look at the uh, kind of destructive effects of global economy. She then describes the four different cells and she calls it that is the first one as the physical self and the second the emotional self, the third the thinking intellectual self and the fourth one is the spiritual self and these are the four main capacities that operate together and join them to the rest of the creation is what she says. Armstrong says that body is the sacred physical self and 
they teach that body is earth itself and therefore they are everything that surrounds them and body here as she says it literally means the land dreaming capacity and and this body is the core of our being which permits the rest of our self to be or it is a great gift of our existence and the second self that she talks about is the emotional self and this emotional self in fact refers to a capacity to form bonds with particular aspects of our surroundings and she says that or she translates this emotional self as being connected by hearts or it is a uh, kind of um, being in connection with each other that is with our land with our other people with everything we are being connected by our hearts and the third self that she describes as thinking intellectual self this thinking intellectual self is difficult to be translated into english and at the same time she says that the word that uh, comes uh, close or which has a meaning that comes closest in interpretation in english is the spark that ignites and she says that it means the other capacities we engage in when we take action and are directed by the spark of memory once it is ignited and then she says that education teaches them to connect these cells or it help them to engage themselves beyond the automatic response capacity that is only a few are able to join the thinking capacity with that of the heart self you can think about everyone and everything and she says that otherwise its power can be a destructive one to themselves as well as to the community or uh, and she uh, in order to and talk about that she says that a fire that is not controlled can destroy like that if you are not able to control your different cells or if you are not able to join these different cells it would be difficult uh, for themselves in the last part of this article she is trying to look at the role of family and community in the case of an okanagan and she says that every person is born into a family and a community and no person is born isolated from these two things or she is trying to talk about the significance of community in the case of an individual in the okanagan and uh, she says as an okanagan they becomes automatically a part of the community and all within this family and community are affected by the actions of any one individual and then she continues the capacity to bond is critical to individual wellness and without it the person is said to be crippled incapacitated as well as lifeless that is uh, if you are be uh, torn apart from your community or from your family it means that you are life was being scattered or you are falling apart so it suggests the importance of community in the life of a person in okanagan community there are different ways in which these people get scattered for example in certain cases as part of a development the people are going away from their own community or they may sometimes forget what they have already learned and or what their education has already taught them so this can in fact bring a kind of different or difficult situation in their own life so she is trying to tell that without the capacity to bond every individual in the okanagan community is life lifeless and relationship to others in okanagan is being referred to by a word which is translated as our one skin and this means that there is a kind of uh, or they shares a kind of uh, physical tie that is uniquely human there is uh, or it also means that the she says i caught the bond of community and family includes the history of the many who came before us and the many ahead of us who share our flesh and god so 
or oh, it suggests that the relationship when being explained as our one skin shows the significance of relationship in this community in the okanagan community this concept of our one skin refers to blood ties within the community and the instinct to protect the individual cells extended to all who share the same skin so it's uh, uh, she's trying to look at the way in which uh, the necessity to protect the indigenous culture as well as the uh, way in which she would be able to or she's in almost all her articles even in her novels a slash as well as whispering in shadows she's trying to talk about this indigenous culture in which uh, she is brought up and you can find that the changes that happens in their community as part of this uh, global economy or the privatization is in fact a threat to the already existing system and she is trying to conclude this article with one of the most serious teaching which she um, says is that oh, of her community is that community comes first in our choices then family and then ourselves as individuals because without community and family we are truly not human she is trying to talk about the necessity to protect this indigenous people as well as their land for the future generations and she suggests that the indigenous rights might be or uh, might be low so therefore they it must be protected and she calls themselves to be the protectors of their own land and she says that she therefore is not with the kind of development or which is against this indigenous culture and she says that she stand with she says i stand with you against the disorder